So we're going to take a smooth sandpaper that stands up to water. And it's a 220 grit fine finish sandpaper. So the way we sand is first we wet the model and all the stone around it. And we start sanding using the curvature of our, hand, of our hands. As we saw before, we were using the curvature of our thumb to give us a nice smooth finish. So now we're going to continue and make it even smoother with the sandpaper. And using our fingers to follow all the curves of the mounting stone, we can really smooth it down. So we want to sand all along the base. Make sure you don't sand the teeth. And along the surface of the mounting stone. You can run your finger over the stone to make sure it's smooth. Wherever it's rough, you can do some extra sanding. Wherever you have a, a higher curvature, like over here, you can use a single finger to get in there. To get in all the nice curves. You can use as many fingers or as few as you need stone from the surface of the uh, base and we sand it down completely. The best result you can get is if you wait until the mounting stone is completely set. When it's not completely set, the finish doesn't seem to be as smooth. If it's set like this, it's going to feel almost like glass. With a little patience, you can get rid of all of the stone. Just make sure you do not sand the teeth. Because that will take away stone from the teeth and it will render your model inaccurate and you don't have to start over with a new model. You can even sand down the base plate a little bit just to clean it up. And it will make it look almost new. Make sure we get all the areas, including the top. said before, the neater you are in the beginning, the faster this step will take. You super neat, all you have to do is a little bit of sanding on the surface. You don't have to take the stone away from the bases if it's not there. So it's going to cut off from your finishing time. Make sure that when you buy your sandpaper, buy the water resistant kind. Don't buy the regular kind for wood, because that will not help you here. It will disintegrate as soon as you put it under the water.
Okay, that concludes the articulation. This is our finished model. This is a good example of what I'm looking for. Smooth surfaces, round surfaces, even with the base. The occlusion comes together exactly with the incisal pen. And it should be as smooth everywhere as it is in the front. This is an example of a grade of 100%.